It's Wednesday. It's October 2nd, 2024. I'm in the United States of America with an O-N-E, an In God We Trust, and a Federal Reserve note. Um, there's a White House on the back of this one, and then there is the Treasury. Um, I was... A few things happened to me this week. One, I uh, was on surveillance camera at the food store or supermarket that I work at. Um, and I had somebody come in with, to me, uh, a coin I never, I, I don't recognize. Um, I don't recognize its authority. It's never been, again, in numismonic. I'm not an aficionado. However, the weight of it did not seem dollar appropriate. Um, its color was a golden hue. The metal was something cheap looking, very cheap looking. Um, even though it was scribed with what looked like what, uh, United States of America on it. Um, and then the woman was trying to give me counterfeit quarters. I only recognize the one with the eagle on the back of it. That was the one where it was a interpersonal relationship with another American who looked presidential and was an employee of the U.S. Mint who were showing us the quarters, the weight um, for us as we went through our adulthood in the country. So I... I... I'm at a U.S. register with commerce, U.S. commerce, um, going, flowing through. I'm on surveillance camera, so the one that I'm comfortable transacting in is the one with the eagle on the back of it that matches the eagle in the house of worship that I go to in church uh, at the Episcopal. Um, so there's that. Um, second of all, uh, after I refuse to transact in what I believe to be counterfeit, um, I called the manager over and I let her handle the transaction again. It's on surveillance. Um, and then this woman continued to agitate. I was not, again, I'm not showing emotion for non-authoritarians that, again, it's part of the public problem, but um, with this movement thing going on with people just coming in and out. Um, so I... Um, so the manager handled it. Then the woman went away. Then the woman came back. And then the woman wanted a bag. So, but I was in another transaction. And then she stood at the edge because she was not getting a response out of me. Like, completely devoid of emotion. And then she stood there on camera and told another customer that she felt the presence of the devil. I thought that a very interesting response, being that I'm in a state and she's trying to conduct in counterfeit. Um, so again, I did not engage with crazy and I let the manager handle it from there. Um, today, which is October 2nd, 2024, I was at the register um, and I had a man come up to me with Canadian money. Now, I'm in the state of New York. On the northeast coast, it's middle colony designate by Smithsonian standards. I mean, we're not even in a New England corridor where... Canadian it may be some kind of like, eh, I'm at a US, U.S. commerce register on surveillance camera. 
I'm like, it's just, and then he's like, I'm going to the bank with it. And I'm like, I'm in the U.S. It's just disrespectful to come all, like up. It, I just, I don't know what more to say about it. I really, I don't. I mean, it's just, I don't, and again, what's going on with post 9-11 and post October 7th? I don't know. I don't get direct words of communication. But what I have coming up to my person, knowing very little about what's going on, but knowing what I was told when there were people who were in communication before it looks like chaos broke out. Um, so I just found this like very disturbing. Um, but again, having someone stand after being an agitator with counterfeit and making a scene with other customers about the fact that I wouldn't accept the believed counterfeit coin. Um, I don't know whether that was to try to embarrass me or shame me. Again, it was caught on surveillance camera. So, and then to stand, come back and stand at the edge of my register and say she felt the presence of the devil to another customer. It was just very bizarre behavior. And I don't exactly know how to register that, like, of concern with how some of the public are behaving. Um, in certain instances, I don't know, like sensitivity wise, is that a direct threat? Is that an indirect threat? I don't know. But um, I'm at place of employment and it's on surveillance. I, whoever's monitoring the surveillance, I don't know. Um, but it is caught on film, um, just in my daily routine. So it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken. And then I leave work and there's more um, license plates that look irregular. Like they don't look regulation. They look out of the ordinary. And I don't know what that's about. I don't know what's coming in and out. Um, there was a, today there was a flatbed black pickup truck with the symbol of the flag all blacked out with a blue line. And, and I'm like, with a non regulatory license plate. So it just, they're, they're just big signals of something doesn't look right with this vehicle. And then there was another one and it had a, a paper tag from Maryland. Then there was another uh, person from Maryland in the area, which is strange. Um, there's just a lot of Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, like there's a whole bunch of license plates that just seem out of the ordinary, which I've documented some of them. Um, I mean, normally for my entire life, it's about 99% all New York maybe a Pennsylvania, maybe a Jersey here and there, but to have New Hampshire, I mean, like just a whole lot of license plates and in abundance. So it's, 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 it's unusual. It's star one, nine, seven, eight, star eight, three, seven, eight, Nicole Caterusa.